what's up everyone hi how are you welcome to rally farmer if you're new here hi my name is linda i'm a registered pharmacist in the practice in kenya and in this channel i talk about health and pharmacy practice so if you have any questions regarding your health regarding pharmacy practice in kenya or any other part of the world just let me know then i'll be able to make a video about that or i'll respond to your comment so thank you so much and consider subscribing so today i have decided to do a video about the difference between a pharmacist a pharmaceutical technologist and a quack this is because there's so much like fake information um, on the internet and just the other day let me pull an extract from the internet about a pharmacist and there was um like on 21st march 2024 there was a newspaper that published this 24 fake pharmacists arrested 30 illegal chemists closed down in Nairobi crackdown so first of all i would like to say that there's no such term as a fake pharmacist that is a quack pharmacists are not fake so i'll strictly go to their uh, cap 244 which governs pharmacy practice in Kenya. And I'll read for you what a pharmacist is, who a pharmaceutical technologist is, and I'll also discuss who a quack is. So I'm opening the CAP 244, and it says that a registered pharmacist means a holder of a degree in pharmacy from a recognized university by the board and whose name is entered on the register. So this is a person whose name is actually on the register and there's a register of pharmacies in Kenya. I will link it down in the description box. You can go and check a list of registered pharmacists. Then I'll go to enrolled pharmaceutical technologist. So basically an enrolled pharmaceutical technologist means a holder of diploma in pharmacy from a training institution recognized by the board and whose name appears on the roll. This means that a pharmacist is a degree holder, a pharmaceutical technologist is a diploma holder. So a quack is neither a pharmacist nor a pharmaceutical technologist. So this is just someone who has decided to set up this pharmacy and does not have the legal requirements for setting up a pharmacy, has not been um, mandated by the board to practice pharmacy and is therefore purporting to be either a pharmacist or a pharmaceutical technologist. And this could go all the way from a business person. Number two, it could be a dentist, it could be a nurse, it could be a medical doctor. All these people are quacks in terms of the pharmacist, pharmacy practice. So if you go into a chemist and you find a nurse, that is a quack. If you go into a chemist, you find a dentist uh, dispensing for you medicine, that is a quack. If you go to a chemist, find a random person dispensing for you medicines, that is a quack. I'm saying this because I'm basing on the argument that people say that pharmacies out there are selling fake medications. This is not true. So basically, if you go to a chemist, there's no pharmacist, there's no pharmaceutical technologist, that person is a quack. And then there's this group of people, maybe they're actually like, let's say somebody started as a cleaner. So they started cleaning in the pharmacy. Then they started maybe handling the finances in the pharmacy. Then at some point they are allowed maybe to sell OTC. That one is a quack. Like over the counter medicine, that person is a quack. And you as the patient, you have every right to insist that a qualified pharmacist or an enrolled technologist should actually dispense for you the medication. I trained for five years. We go for an internship for one year compulsory internship. Once we finish the internship, then we sit board exams. And then after that, we are registered and our names are public. You can actually go to that register and find out and find that. For pharmaceutical technologists, these are people who hold a diploma and it's usually three years. Then after that, they also go for compulsory internship, whereby now they practice the internship and then after that, they are enrolled. They do the exams of the board and then they are enrolled. And you can find a list of them in the list of enrolled pharmaceutical technologies in Kenya. Then, number two difference between a pharmacist and a pharmaceutical technologist is the depth of the knowledge. So you will see that a pharmacist has gone for five years, a pharmaceutical technologist three years so it means that the pharmacist is much more knowledgeable to educate you as a patient regarding your medications this is someone who will sit down with you 
take a lot of time with you at the pharmacy explain to you your medications you ask like you as a patient you ask them questions they will answer you they also do something called medication management therapy whereby if you are a patient who is um, on chronic if you are a patient who has a chronic disease for example you have diabetes you have hypertension you have heart disease maybe kidney disease this pharmacist will sit down with you at the pharmacy explain to you each and every medication and also at the end of the day they will team up with your doctors to reduce your medications because sometimes you see that uh, you have a prescription it has so many medications and some of these medications are unnecessary so it is the work of the pharmacist to sit down with you actually so this is how you will tell the difference because the pharmaceutical technologies will just dispense but the pharmacist will take time with you explain to you everything you need to know about your medication and that is how you can tell the difference a quack will just write one times one and then they tell you meza moja mara moja that's it they do not have like all the information necessary they do not have like the background information so you as a patient also use your judgment when you go to the pharmacy number three a uh, difference between these two cadres is the associations so pharmaceutical society of kenya is the umbrella body for pharmacists so if you see in any news pharmaceutical society of kenya that is the pharmacist and then for the pharmaceutical technologies diploma holders it is called kpa so if you hear in the news kpa they are fighting for the pharmaceutical technologies whereas if you hear psk pharmaceutical society of kenya then you will know that this is representing the pharmacist another thing that you are trying to come up with so that we can help you as the public to know the difference between the two cadres is the blue cross and the green cross so when you walk into a pharmacy and you see that it has a green cross you've seen most of my videos i put a green cross it means that this is a pharmacist owned pharmacy but then if you go to a pharmacy and then it has a blue cross then it means that this is a pharmacist that is being this is a pharmacy sorry that is being operated by a pharmaceutical technologist and if you walk into a pharmacy no sign at all then it means most likely the person inside there is a quack lastly you also need to know the schedules sorry the schedules of medicine under which each cada is supposed to prescribe or dispense to you so a pharmacist has more advantage in that they are able to handle a wider variety of medicines compared to the pharmaceutical technologies this is because also of the knowledge that the pharmacists have as a the knowledge that pharmaceutical technologies have so it is important that you know how to get the differences between these two cadres and quarks so that you are not misled so that you don't end up in the wrong hands and someone is giving you the wrong medication lastly there's actually a way in which you are supposed to know who is at the pharmacy because mostly the pharmacist will find them with a badge everybody is actually supposed to have a name tag with their names and their registration numbers and out of curiosity when you go to a pharmacy actually there's usually a qr code you can scan it and see that this pharmacy has is registered first of all by the pharmacy and poisons board the license is up to date and the people who are practicing inside there have their valid practice license so it's upon you also as the patient to actually understand your rights and know that you're supposed to be served by a qualified health professional so i hope this video has shed some of the light uh, because i understand i did a video whereby people actually don't know who a pharmacist is and they assume everybody that is in the pharmacy is a pharmacist so i will tell you to the general public not everybody you find in the pharmacy is either a pharmacist or a pharmaceutical technologist some of these people are quacks and they might dispense to you medicines in the wrong way so also you as the patient be armed with the information and always ask questions if you ask someone a question they are unable to answer most likely they are not the right people to serve you at that pharmacy so i hope this video helps you and um, other questions please let me know in the comment section so that is it and thank you so much and i'll see you on my next video bye bye